Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right, maybe to be a little more explicit, a little more censored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, your boy OTF Lil Vonny the Muscle, he had a few words for your boy the baby. All right, now a lot of people, they sitting here, they like, oh, how is um, Vonny going to diss the baby? I thought the baby and Dirk was cool. Not really, as y'all know. Um, things been got sour between the whole OTF camp and the baby back when the baby decided to do a whole project with NBA Youngboy. Y'all already know what's going on with them. So, you know, it's been salty since then. You know, the baby and Boss Top, they got into their little back and forth. So it's been dead since then. But a lot of people are confused because they seen an Icebox YouTube video where um, the baby in the jewelry store and Lil Dirk and Little Baby, if I'm not mistaken, too. So, you know, they like, yo, how is he going to do X, Y, and Z? But like I always tell y'all, just because these guys are in the same sport, just because they all rap, you know, they cordial with each other, don't mean that they're the best of friends. You know, it just is what it is. So when the baby did that whole project with NBA Youngboy, everybody's sitting there like, oh, ain't he cool with Dirk? No. <laughs> they're cordial, but that don't mean that, you know, he has to stop his bag or that don't mean that he has to pick sides in their little beef. Now, if they decide to keep messing with each other, then that's on them. But nine times out of ten, once you mess with the ops, it just is what it is. We can't be friends no more. And that's pretty much what it is with um the baby and Dirk. Alright. But anyway, as y'all know, the baby just dropped his project called Baby on Baby 2. We did a song called Boogie Man. And the lyrics pretty much has him making allegations that he slept with Meg the Stallion. You know? And you know, of course, the internet going to be the internet. Everybody got their opinion. They're saying how he going to expose Meg the Stallion. He should have kept the player. He not supposed to be telling the business. If he did it, then he did it. But why would he expose it? But a lot of people got to remember him and Meg the Stallion. They've been on rocky terms. They've been going back and forth with each other online. It kind of died down. You don't hear much about it. But I guess he decided to, you know, expose everything now on this album. And usually that's what these guys do. Like, you know, let me tell you one thing about the baby. He's a marketing genius, man. You know, from wearing the diaper and all that other weird stuff. Um, In the entertainment industry, all publicity is good publicity, whether it's good or bad. You know, as long as you got people talking about you and you're staying relevant, who cares? Sad, but true. Now, anyway, back to um, the subject. Your boy Lil Vaughn, he took to his Instagram story to speak on a situation he um, reposted the Say Cheese um, post about it, and he had this to say. He said, quote, if she give you some P word and you tell the business, he said, N words is 30 plus speaking on the business. I've been trying to tell y'all it's these older N words that talk a lot now. The young N words keep it so player. This not a good way to come back in the game, big bruh. He put the laughing emoji, 100 emoji, and he said, F nah. They said, N words be dogs for real. All right. Now, like I said, the baby hasn't responded yet. I'm sure he is. Um, I'm sure he's going to address it. He's not going to say much, but he's probably just going to address it just to know, to let it be known that he's aware. Um, when it comes to that whole situation, like I said, man, I think it's just marketing. But at the end of the day, he probably really don't care and just exposed it. Now, personally, me, I feel that, you know, if she gave it up or whatever the case may be, just in general, anybody, never supposed to expose it, you know, supposed to keep that on the DL. But like I said, it's totally up to the person because you can't tell a person what to do when them and that other person is pretty much, you know, not beefing because him and Meg ain't beefing. They just don't rock with each other. So he got a little ammunition that he know the world don't know. So he decided to put that out there. It is what it is, man. It's like an argument. You can't tell somebody what to say in the argument, no matter how bad or whatever it is. It just is what it is. Y'all jump in the comments, let me know how y'all feel about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.